Hello, everybody. My name is Derek. Welcome to Speed Force Media. And today we are talking about a new Friday the 13th prequel series titled Crystal Lake. The show will be written by Brian Fuller, who is also the showrunner and an executive producer. Victor Miller, who penned the original film in the franchise, will also serve as an executive producer, along with Mark Tobarov, Rob Bersamayan, and A24. A24 will also serve as the studio behind the series. Friday the 13th is one of the most iconic horror franchises in movie history, and we are dying to revisit this story with our upcoming drama series, Crystal Lake, said Susan Rovner, chairman of entertainment content for NBC Universal Television and Streaming. We can't wait to get to work with Brian Fuller, a gifted, visionary creator who I've had the pleasure of being a longtime friend and collaborator along with our incredible partners at A24. In this updated version for Peacock, that will thrill longstanding fans of the franchise. That is, of course, coming from Variety. Notice they didn't say horror at all. So they're titling it as a drama thriller series that is a prequel to the first Friday the 13th. Of course, Victor Miller, who penned the original film, who has the, I guess, some of the rights, I'm not an expert by any means, of the ongoing, never-ending contractual legal conflict going on between Sean S. Cunningham and Victor Miller regarding Jason, adult Jason, baby Jason, snake Jason, Jason's mask, the name Friday the 13th, using Camp Crystal Lake. All of it is way over my head, but I know that nobody owns all of it, and nobody owns enough of it to do a movie, apparently. So this is interesting and kind of contrary to what we've been hearing over the last few years If you've been following Speed Force Media in the past, we talked about the production company Spring Hill Productions. That is, of course, LeBron James movie production company that was, in fact, working on a Friday the 13th reboot movie for the last few years. Uh, Unfortunately, that movie went silent over the continuing ongoing court trials between Sean S. Cunningham, Victor Miller, or all of the issues, whatever that may be. And that is why we do not have a new Friday the 13th movie. So it is interesting that we are getting a series now. Will this make Sean S. Cunningham want to use whatever rights he has to maybe compete with this Crystal Lake series? Maybe they'll do a Jason movie or a Jason series and use Baghead Jason or maybe even Jason with this hockey mask. Unless you were a fan of the original Friday the 13th movie and that is nearly one of your favorites, then I think this is kind of bad news for Jason Voorhees fans, as we will probably not even see the character show up in this show unless it's child Jason. And to me, that's not really all that interesting. If we're going to have a young Pamela Voorhees as a school counselor, either raising Jason for the first few years of his life as she's killing random other things or maybe facing other supernatural threats at Camp Crystal Lake. I'm not really interested in seeing that. Maybe their explanation is, oh, Camp Crystal Lake is the supernatural entity, or maybe that's what attracts all of these horrific crimes, and they're going to use other villains throughout this show instead of Jason because they can't use Jason. I'm just spitballing here, but they didn't title it as a slasher series or a horror series, but a drama and a thriller. So I think this is going to be more of a drama or thriller, whatever you may title that as. Some people title the original Halloween movie as a crime thriller. I wouldn't necessarily argue that, but I'd say it's definitely still a horror movie. That being said, Brian Fuller is attached And Brian Fuller, you know, is famous for doing Star Trek Voyager or working on that. Uh, Star Trek Discovery, Pushing Daisies. He was a writer on Heroes. And of course, Hannibal. Now, not everybody loved the Hannibal series, but I was a big fan of it. Especially when you have to tackle an iconic character like Will Graham and an even more iconic character like Hannibal Lecter. And try to do something in a different way that can even somewhat compete with what came before, as in Anthony Hopkins. They went out and got Mads Mikkelsen and took the story in a completely different direction, but also stayed in line and stayed with the books and with the films before it. 
it's possible that somehow, some way, Brian Fuller can pull something magical together and do a prequel series to the first Friday the 13th movie, and maybe that will elevate that original movie for some fans. But it's also very possible that if they're going for a thriller drama, that they might lose a lot of their horror audience. Because I know there's a lot of horror fans that when they hear a Friday the 13th prequel series, they're scratching their heads saying, well, it would sound a lot better if it was just a Friday the 13th series with Jason. At least in my opinion, that's just where I stand on it. I mean, you just got a Halloween trilogy, whether you love it, whether you hate it, whether you think it should have happened or shouldn't have. There's not a better time than right now to relaunch the Friday the 13th movies, or at least the Friday the 13th name and the IP of Jason Voorhees. But unfortunately, it doesn't sound like that's going to happen. What are your guys' thoughts on this? Are you excited for this show? Are you going to be watching this show when it comes out? Are you going to just kind of wait and see for a trailer? Do you think this is a good idea, maybe original, and kind of stay away from the slasher stuff, stay away from Jason Voorhees? And maybe you think the Pamela Voorhees character is going to be a more interesting character. Or maybe you think this is a hot piece of trash and you think, no, the only thing I want is Jason. Whatever side you are on, let us know in the comments below as we'd love to hear your side on this. My name's Derek. Thanks for watching, and until next time, have a great week.